So now that we're connected and we download, we're online and you can always disconnect so that when we are talking, I have installed the developer edition. This portion right here specifically, so these run mode changes, this will only show up if you install the developer edition. As Hayden talked about earlier, the run mode changes is not as quick as the online edits for a Studio 5000 application. It can be done if you choose to, but typically it's really not there yet. So it's almost faster to disconnect, make the change you want, reconnect and download back in again. I'm gonna go ahead and connect back up again though, and we're actually gonna play with a little bit of the code here. So as Hayden was going through, he quickly went and showed how you can online monitor, or yeah, online monitor and modify a value. So if you selected a tag, wait, it takes a little bit there, and go to variable monitoring. You can also toggle the Boolean. If you remember though, I mapped several tag names here to digital outputs and digital outputs a tag name. So I can select this and click toggle. It will turn on for a second until you see that IO map is triggered and wipes it back out because nothing else is there on the physical input now that we're connected to an actual device. But I want this to actually stay on. How you would do that is you would right click the tag name again, go to variable monitoring. By default, it will pick the proper selection as opposed to when you are building new tags. And you can also see here logical value if something is on or off for your tags. So check marks are true, blanks are false. But we wanna to go to my IO. I put them in comments because I have it in structured text, so I didn't want to clutter up and add an alias. But really, I want to make sure that this selector switch is on. So we need to force this physical input to do what I want it to do. So in order to do forces, you it is a lock. You checkbox the lock. On digital outputs, I want to force the physical value. It will drive that circuit and make it work. Once you click the physical value, even though the logical value stays blank here, it will actually be on. The other thing we, we wanna do here is I want to show a digital input. We wanna force that one. So one thing I forgot to point out, so I have several um, points wired up just so, so I can show this. So you guys can actually see that it is truly happening. Even though the logical value is off, when I check that physical value, I see that my digital input four, logically and physical value are both on. Let me turn it back off again and you see them go away. So you know that it is working even though you don't see your logical value. It is slightly different though for digital inputs. So I'm gonna go on digital input zero, check the box again, but the digital input is not the same. You cannot force the physical, so you want to force the logical and that will work. I also have that when I was in auto mode, Digital input one triggered digital output zero. So my logical value, my code is now executing and you see that it turned on. So it was always on even though I forced it here. But once you hit that logical check marks, it will execute in the code and then turn on that output so that your logical execution is there. All right. So I also set up just some basic timing and stuff like that for these guys. You can, again, you can change these to the word time. It does not have to be T, but just generally as we're attempting to make everything work here. So I have my start request. So I'm just waiting on my start request push button. I want to understand where is that guy used, right? So you can do your cross-reference browser, which everybody needs to be able to find, right? And the same thing, and I knew that I needed to go to here, but your access, so in 5000, you have your destructive versus not destructive. Um, so your yes and no to let you know if it's a OTE or a move statement or something like that. 
is very similar, but it's read and write. So it's not destructive. Yes, no, it's read write here. So if you go to that, you can double click and it will show you that I have digital input one as my start button. So I want to right click on that digital input one monitor so that it pulls me up to that one. And we're going to force this value by checking the lockbox and start. We'll hit close. Team. And you can see that my start command is running and I will, I'm just cycling this on and off. Not a good program itself, but it works.